Hey, this is Max from Abstract Automation. In this video, I'm going to explain that you don't need to have a fancy marketing software or a dedicated email campaign software to send out targeted emails automatically with very little effort. And you can do this all right in your Zoho CRM. As a matter of fact, you can trigger the email sequence with just one single mouse click. Let's break it down. Okay, so here we are in my Zoho CRM. Now, before we get into it, I want to explain that the email sequence that I'm using for this video is something that is a real world uh, example that I've used myself for a particular service that I started to offer recently that I'm promoting. So just a little side note here, I am offering to my clients a backup service, a Zoho backup service, where I can download your Zoho data and upload those backup files to your uh, cloud storage of your choice or to my own cloud storage here. And this way you have your data in your own hands at all times, even though Zoho is a very secure platform and they keep uh, three months of data backups on their end. I just like the idea of having my data in my own hands. And so I decided to offer this service because many of my clients, they either don't have the time or don't know how to back up their Zoho data. And even if they do know, unfortunately, I'm finding that they just don't do it. And so it might be easier to pay somebody and uh, have that peace of mind that it's going to get done. So anyway, I started offering this service and I put together an email sequence to promote the service that I am going to start using in my Zoho CRM. So anyway, that's where this all came about. Now, in order to kick off this email sequence to a contact in my Zoho CRM, all I have to do is go to their contact record and I've created a series of fields down at the bottom here under a marketing automation section. And I have a field called Zoho Backup Service Start. All I have to do is check that box. And then what will happen is that will kick off a workflow that will send out five emails using five different templates on a certain delay. Okay. So if we look at the timeline of this contact now, we'll see that we have a bunch of upcoming automated actions scheduled. And you can see that email number one will go out a little bit later today. Email number two will go out in about three or four days. Email number three, email number four, email number five. So those five emails are spread out about 30 days, uh, apart, uh, not, not apart, but from first email to last email is about 30 days. And the other ones in the middle are peppered in between. Now, let me show you how all this gets put together. So first, what I did was I created a section of fields, marketing automation, and I have a start field for this campaign and a stop field for this campaign. The start field obviously is to kick off the whole sequence. The stop field would be if there's an opt out situation. So if somebody replies to the email, Max, thanks, but I'm not interested. Don't send me this anymore. I can opt them out by just checking this box. I actually automated that process. There's that's a little bit more technical for some. Um, but, uh, but in any case, it can be fully automated as well. Now let me show you the email templates that I had to put together. So all I had to do is go into my setup email templates. I put all of the emails related to this effort into a single folder, um, along with an additional opt out confirmation email. So I have emails number one, two, three, four, and five. So email number one just has a price graphic and some other information, all of the details here, and a little bit about, you know, why you might want to use this service versus do it yourself or to rely on Zoho for, uh, backups and restores. There's a call to action button on the email. That just means if the user clicks that button with their recipient clips, clicks that button, they will be um, redirected or sent over to my website where there's the full detailed information about this service, as well as a link to Zoho's official policies, as well as a form that the recipient can fill out and indicate if they're interested or uh, come back with me with any questions. 
So this is sort of a landing page for that purpose. And uh, back to the other emails in Zoho. So I have five similar emails. Uh, they're just each slightly different, slightly reworded, different subjects, okay, but it's all the same idea. They all have the same call to action button. Uh, they all have overall pretty much the same information. All right, so once you create your emails, email templates, you would then go into your workflows under automation and you have to create a workflow rule to kick off the sequence. So in this case, we are dealing with the contacts module and here I have my workflow rule already created, Zoho backup service email sequence. And so we're triggering this workflow when that start field is checked. So that's number one. And then it double checks to make sure that the stop checkbox is not checked, right? So if somebody opted out, what this does is just before it sends out each email, it checks to make sure that the contact still meets the conditions that you've set here. All right. So they can opt out at any point during the sequence. And all you have to do now is just configure your scheduled action. So you add your scheduled action, you decide the um, delay that you want to put on that particular email. So in this case, the first email is going out 30 minutes after I check that box. I like to put a delay in because it does give you a second chance to um, decide to not let the email go out. You know, I check the box and then I think of something and say, you know, maybe I don't want to send this email to this contact. I can just quickly uncheck it and it'll clear. Um, but we have uh, the e first email going out 30 minutes later. We have three business da da days later, the next email, 10 business days, 20 business days, 30 business days. Uh, you can have up to five emails go out under a single workflow rule. So if you want to send more than five emails, all you have to do is just clone this email rule or excuse me, this workflow rule, and then just change the templates or change the durations on the second rule. So you'd have emails one through five. If you want to send 10 emails, emails one through five would go on the first rule. Emails six through 10 would go out using the second rule. So pretty easy to do. And um, yeah, so just keep in mind that this is just an incredibly um, useful feature. You don't have to have any ex expensive add-ons. You don't have to have an email, dedicated email marketing software, or email campaign software. We're doing this right in Zoho CRM. Just takes a little time to build those email templates up and to configure the rules and that's it. Hope this helps. And let me know if I can uh, assist with uh, setting up some email campaigns for you. Thank you.